Hello everyone, welcome back to Starfield. I'm here with Rhonda and Sarah. Sarah's over there too. We just got a request from this man to go and uh Good day, Captain. Hi Vasco. Uh taking the cockpit, please. All crew accounted for. We're ready to depart. Good. Um we got a quest to fix someone's satellites. So let's get out of here. Alright, that guy is deaf. If he is outside, that guy is deaf now. Because uh, rocket engines are very loud. Lock him up. Come on. Goodbye. Uh, wait. P? Hang on. We need to destroy more ships. We have a lot of ships we need to take out. Come on, buddy. Goodbye. There we go. So there's some more Debris. Any more? Any more Debris? Anyone got some Debris? Yes. Debris. Got some more Debris there. And some more Debris over here, please. Get it. Get it. Get it. Uh, let's turn off that engine. Let's go faster. Get it. Get it. Get it. Get it. Get it. Give me that Debris. There we go. Perfect. That's three more ships taken care of. Hulls at 100. Should be pretty good. Very exciting. Um, let's go have a chat with the... Uh, Spacers around this thing. Or on. never mind. Which means communications is up. Okay. Sending the data on the other satellites. Perfect. You do hear me, right? Hello. Uh hello, this is Rhonda. Um I ksh, blueberry ksh, elephants. Seriously, it's working fine. Take some time dealing with someone competent. I don't suppose you want a job working hydroponics. No one ever says yes to that. <laughs> Once you repair the other satellites, I'll open a channel to the other families. Watch that. All right. Sounds like. Um. Might have to take out some more spacers. Hopefully. Are they on... Oh, they're on different planets. Okay. So we definitely are going to have to take out some more guys. Uh, over to Altair 1. Also, did we figure out there was a thing here? Um, like, there was... That's on Volii. Okay. There's nothing else here, is there? No. Alright. Then I guess we're punching it to Altair 1. I'm 
not seeing any more spacers. There's a crash site over there. Oh, I think we've been to that crash site before. All right, over to the Lemaire satellites. There's got to be spacers incoming, so we should probably watch out. Yup, how do I know? Ow, do you fucking mind? Start repairing, please. All right, one more down. You're the last one, bitch. You know what? We'll dock with this one. And we'll take him out ourselves. We'll go on board and we'll kill everyone on board. Maybe we'll even steal the ship for ourselves if we can. Well, uh, yeah. Check yourselves. Oh, yeah, they don't have gravity. Uh oh. Sentient AI adapters. That sounds like contraband. Since we're in such close quarters. Yeah, is that is that contraband? I think that's contraband. But since we're in such close quarters, we might as well. Oh yeah. Uh-oh. Okay. We have a new starship. undock I don't know how we're gonna get our old ship back but we have this it is very much busted so let's go and do this wait hang on Woo, this thing can punch it. I like that. Um, let's get this spacer raven as well. But we're building up a small fleet. And we've got some ship parts to repair this. Yep, begin repairs. Another satellite up. And broadcasting. Lopez to Lemaire. Jacqueline, are you there? Alvin? How the hell? I'm almost glad to hear your voice. Listen, we need to meet. All of us. These spacers have got us on the ropes. What sort of game are you playing? We're not going to fall for another of your cons. No game. No rules. Times have changed.
Oops, how long have I been muted? I said, oops. I'm, yep, that was smart of me. I'm really smart. You guys know that? Have you guys figured that out? That I'm actually a genius? Captain Phillips, it is pleasant to see you. Hi. Got some contraband, sir? Was there? How may the Trade Authority assist you? Certainly. I got some shit to sell you, boy. Yeah. Um. I guess we hold on to that. I don't know. Oh, we have some books to sell. Um. No. Moby's dick, sell those. Sell that. Sell that, sell that. Uh, he'll buy that off us, sure. Cool. Anything with value? Sort by value. Demo survey data. I don't know who we're supposed to sell that to. Um, carry of the Cosmos. Sure, we'll sell that. I think we hold on to that. I don't know. And it does that? I'm not sure, but I'm gonna hold on to that because it gives us a perk. All right. Now, we need to go back to um, Jemison Alpha. <clears throat> um, land over here make a jump but hell yeah we stole a Standing down. Smart decision. Stand by to be boarded and transferred. This sucks. I hate it. I'm the Mantis. You can't arrest me. I'm telling you, the commander's got plans for this loser. Why else would he be going through all this trouble? I still don't understand why he trusts the criminal. Seems like too much of a risk. up stop worrying and keep an eye on our guest i'll be right back what's up you just sit tight commander wants to have a little chat the prisoner is ready sir what's going on here what do you bastards want hello Hi. This doesn't look like local jail. Hmm. Highly perceptive. Let me add that to your list of skills. Speaking of which, let's see what we're working with here. Hmm. Pretty unremarkable fast. Not much to speak of there. I also see that you mined on Vectera. And now you're with Constellation. You certainly been quite... I wonder if this guy's dialogue changes depending on what Look you've at done. That. Right at the bottom of this list is the criminal incident that landed you in my crosshairs. Yeah. 
I bet it, yeah. Let's just get to the point. I will, when I'm ready. Now that we have that out of the way, let me introduce myself. My name is Commander Kibwe Ikande, and I'm in charge of this operation for UC Sistef. Are you familiar with what we do? Well, I know you kidnap people. Actually, that's something new we're trying. I figured we needed to branch out a bit, broaden our horizons. UC Sistef is a division of the UC Navy. Well, they handle the big picture stuff. We deal with a very particular problem. The Crimson Fleet. Okay. That convict is where you enter the picture. I have nothing to do with the Crimson Fleet. No. No, you don't. Not yet, anyway. We've been prodding at the Crimson Fleet for years. Trying to take them down one ship at a time. We barely scratch the surface. Yep. If we can get someone on the inside, we have a shot at finding a loose thread we can pull to... I guess this is the Crimson down. Fleet uh, so, uh, side quest. Uh, you want me to risk my neck and go undercover for you? Not for me. For yourself. Look, I'm going to make this simple. Agree to work for UC Sistef. Together, we take down the Crimson Fleet. And I tell these guys to throw you into the nearest lockup. Might even pack on an extra few hundred credits to your fine. I didn't realize coercion was part of UC Sistef's code of ethics. I'm not coercing you into doing anything. I'm simply giving you a chance to redeem yourself. So I guess this can happen no so, matter uh, what, what you do, do to get a bounty. So, me, should I um, find else? that's why he didn't specify like what criminal incident it was. Fine, I'm in. Smart choice. I'm going to have one of my men escort you to the operations center. I strongly suggest that you don't give him any trouble. And don't bother trying to leave the ship. I think you'll find all access to the docking area is fully restricted. Alright, fine, asshole. Hi, Sarah. Get out of line and I'll put you down. Clear? Alright, let's go. Come on, so, Shitter. It's a fiop instead of serving the time. Gotta be the commander's new goal, huh? Sure. Going in all alone, infiltrating a bunch of pirates. You've got a lot of guts. Still, it makes you wonder. Especially with the stories that go around. Like the one about how the fleet deals with informants by lashing them to the hull of a ship and then slowly letting the air out of their suit. Could you imagine a worse way to go? I know I couldn't. But I wouldn't worry about it. Just since the commander handpicked you, I'm guessing you can hold your breath for a really long time, right? Something like that. All right, let's see. Damn, they really did shut down access. Oh well. Ikande's on level two. Try not to touch anything until he actually clears you. Okay. All right, this is as far as I go. Take the lift up to Ops. Commander Ikande should be waiting for you. All right, fine. Let's go. Sarah. Pardon. This is what you... This is what you endorse, eh? Hey, Sarah. You endorse this. Alright. Well, I guess we'll have to hold that thought, Mr. Lopez. Because we need... We were kind of captured a little bit. Yes? I mean... Look at this man's fucking power pose. We love that. Ah, there you Absolutely are. stanced up. Ex now that we've established your level of I'm on his side now. That, that stance is too powerful. To this is the operation center of the UC Vigilance. Sysdef's nerve center dedicated to the destruction of the Crimson Fleet. Okay. You're going to need one more, more than one ship to uh, eliminate an entire fleet. 
Which is precisely why we're taking a more clandestine approach. We need eyes and ears inside the Crimson Fleet. Someone who can feed us information, evidence, and expose their weaknesses. The catch is that you can't just knock on their front door and ask for an application. Getting inside is going to take some finesse. Get me in a room with them and I'll talk them into anything. Good. I have just the right place for you to start. Our intelligence has managed to find a possible opening into the Crimson Fleet through Sersha Bolden, one of their contacts. She works for the Trade Authority in Sidonia, so you'll be using a container of Aurora we've loaded on your ship to get her attention. She can probably stiff out a narc from a sector away. That's right. So it'll be your job to convince this person that you're the real deal. Once you bluff your way into the Crimson Fleet, then the operation proceeds to evidence gathering. That's where my second in command, Lieutenant Gillian Toft, comes into the picture. She'll explain everything you need to know. Uh, sure. Point the way and I'll get it done. Eager to get going? Good. I just don't like Remember, the Crimson Fleet. This entire operation rests on your ability to infiltrate the Crimson Fleet and bring us the evidence we need to take them down. I'll do my best. I wouldn't expect any less. Look, before you begin, I want to make something perfectly clear. As an undercover operative for UC Sister, you'll be expected to follow our code of conduct and ethics. Allow yourself to stray too far off the path and you stand a good chance of spiraling out of control. I don't exactly do well following rules and regulations. Well, you better learn quick. Otherwise, I'll start looking for someone to take your place. Anyway, it's time to hand you over to Lieutenant Toft. She'll brief you about the details of the evidence gathering portion of the operation. Now, get out of here. And good luck. Sure, fine, whatever. You have your orders. All right, let's have a chat with Jillian. Hi, Jillian. All right, we don't have a lot of time, so I need you to listen up. Perfect. While I want to get out of here. Cover, it's imperative that you gather as much evidence as possible. If you find any records that look suspicious or incriminating, you bring it to me. Is that understood? That's if I'm accepted into the Crimson Fleet. You better make it. Because Commander Akande cashed in all his chips to get this operation off the ground. I want data slates, computer downloads, handwritten notes. Hell, I'll take anything if it'll get those bastards thrown into the brig. Sounds like you have a personal vendetta against the Crimson Fleet. You're damn right I do. That minor skirmish you had with them on Bactera was nothing compared to the death and destruction those pirates leave behind. If you've seen what I've seen... You'd understand why I'm pushing you so hard. All right. Uh, I'll bring you as much evidence as I can find. That's all we're asking. Oh, before you go, there's one more thing. Commander Akande has authorized a credit disbursement for each piece of evidence that you return. As compensation for your efforts. Roger that. Uh, credits, now you're speaking my language. Commander Akande came up with the idea. He was concerned you might not help us simply because it was the right thing to do. All right. We've loaded a container of Aurora into your ship's cargo hold. We're also providing you with a sample you can use to tease the goods. Sure thing. We've cleared your ship for launch. Proceed to Sidonia. Make contact with Searsha Bowden. And with any luck, she'll point you to the Crimson Fleet. That should do it. You're dismissed. All right. We'll be here if you need us. All right. Uh, with that, let's yeah. head to our ship. Hey, our new ship. Uh, we're not going to do this this just yet. We're going to head to our ship. And uh, I want to rename this thing. Or sell it. We need to go to... So we're on Phobos. Demo station. We need to go back to Alpha Centauri. I guess our bounty's gone. That's good. Uh, 
uh, back to New Atlantis because I need to go to a shipyard. Please. Could have gone to Mars, but you know what? We need more uh, grav drive jumps anyway, so it doesn't really matter. All right. I think we need to get this thing fixed or sold. Either way. And he's a new captain. Hello. Decorating their ship with heat leech nests would be a nice touch. The trade authority runs a vending kiosk next to my booth. Besides that, Jemison. Okay. I'd like to view and modify my okay. ships. No problem. Uh, we'd have to register this thing. Okay. All right. Okay. 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 How do I sell it? I don't want it anymore. I just stole it because I thought it would be cool. What's the range on this? 28 light years versus 18 versus 19 versus 30. Now, okay, this might actually be our ticket to figuring out the main thing. Hang on. It's not worth a whole lot. And it's kind of awful. And I don't think it would keep us alive. But this thing should have the range to get us to those final artifacts. And we can still fly it. So... Maybe that's not the worst idea. And now it's registered. Okay, sure. We'll take it. All right. Ship's repaired. Everything looks good here. I'll be at my booth if you need me. We sell that? Yeah, we got to sell some of this stuff, don't we? Yeah. Um... Yeah, what are we selling? We're selling this stuff. Cool. All right. All right, so our raccoon ship is now fixed up. Let's take a look at some of the amenities here. I want to I want to see what's going on here. Hi, Vasco. Let's look at what is actually on this ship. We stole it from some spacers, so that's that's good. You know, we we don't mind taking things from spacers. Do I have my inventory back? Do I have my weapons back? I would like my weapons. Yeah. Yeah. You know, this thing's fucking useless. <laughs> Bash it. Uh, let's get on this. See what's on the second floor. Maybe. Uh, so the cockpit's up here. Yep. The adoring fan is up there. Okay. Oh, and that's the docket. Why? Alright, so this thing kind of sucks. Doesn't really have that many amenities. But it does have the range. However, I don't want this uh, spaceship to be our thing. Ah, it is fast. It is pretty fast. Let's finish the mission we were currently doing. We're not doing this. We're not doing that. We are helping out this guy. He said he wants our help, so we're going to help him. However, I would rather do it in a better ship. This thing's only useful to us because it can travel very fast. Hello. Hi, Masco. It can travel fast and far. But unfortunately, it's not very well armed. So let's get our razor and leaf back. Okay, no problem. Can we upgrade this? Can we? We could. Eh, it's all right. Let's uh, set this as our home ship once more. Okay, sure. Cool. 
Everything looks Ship good prepared. Here. I'll be at my booth if you need anything. Now let's head on out. Uh, set target over, or set our uh, course over to the Banda Communications Satellite. Uh, jump on over. And uh, I believe we have a point to spend. Oh, God. All right, two more ships to take out, and then we're good. Take him out, take him out, take him out, take him out! Hello. Take him out, take him out, take him out. It's not. Uh, how broken are we? Oh, come on. Get right here. I'll pay for what? You didn't finish. What am I paying for? We didn't swap in, uh, swap. We didn't swap insurance details. Let's grab this. All right, more iron. Love that. All right. There's the panda satellite, but let's spend that thing over to there. There we go. I forget what uh, ship it is, like what class of ship that thing is, but probably class C, I would imagine. This is a, what is it? It is a class C, okay. Well, that's not great, because we need to be able to pilot this. But you know what? It's fine. All right, hurry up. Connect to it and repair. Just one. Just one, Alvin. All right, punch it. It wouldn't be 2.8 light seconds away unless it was a moon, right? Oh, it is a moon. Alright, I'm sure there's going to be hostiles here in a minute. So get ready. Let's go in first person for a while. Get ready. Get ready. Come on. Okay. I have a feeling this ain't over and 
Good to know. All right, back to Altair 1. Punch it. Where is it? Family rendezvous. Here we go. And a watchdog. Lemaire's ship. Let's get this over with. Alright, docking. Here we go. What do we got? I don't know. But I think we'll end this episode here. And we'll pick up next time with this uh, little rendezvous.